so today is laundry day so that's why it's like empty right here but these are my sanitary um, napkins for my daughter and myself um I just got some ones that need to be clean so I gotta fold those up but I decided this is where I put the actual panty liners so I've been folding them up like this this is how I store them and hold on I have this basket here and remember those tables I bought I think I'm gonna take all of these out I'm gonna put my um, pads and stuff inside here and shift them over to the middle so they can be easily accessed instead of having them in two different places like this like this here and then having in this bag so I'm gonna take these out show you guys where I'm putting these and then I'm gonna refold all my um, sanitary napkins and show you how I'm gonna store them so guys I'm going to be putting my candles in these two take well the top table I, I didn't need both I try not to have too much of unnecessary things now when these get kind of like halfway I'll probably replenish them with other candles but I always get them from like Burlington the outlets and places like that I never pay full price for Yankee candles now I'm washing out the basket and now I'm getting ready to um, show you how I fold and store my sanitary napkins my reusable sanitary napkins at this time I was using the Dollar Tree um, baskets I have um, upgraded to some great target baskets that are more durable but I wanted to get this footage out because I did this like in the summertime and I didn't share it with you guys so I wanted to get this out to you guys now if you guys missed this video these are a great 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 solution to getting away from those toxic pads tampons and panty liners that they sell in the stores i did my research i talked about these in several different videos and i wanted to just keep people posted of the ones who have purchased these and just wanted to know a little bit about how we store ours we wash ours regularly just like we wash regular clothes if we use fabric fabric softeners and stuff we have to strip them so that way they continue to absorb as much as they do these things are amazing and they absorb so much my daughter and myself both love 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 them i was kind of fiddling around until i got it right um i guess the folding wasn't working because it was taking up more space but being that um it's just her and i that use them i had to find a creative way to have them easy accessible for us to just grab out of the closet so that's basically what you see me fiddling around and trying to do to keep it nice and organized and so this is the way that I store them in the Dollar Tree basket and as I stated this was done previously and I wanted to still share with those of you who may be interested in getting them and wondering is it a difficult way or some special way they need to be stored they do not this is the way we store them in the future I will be showing you the updated version of how I'm storing them but this is perfect for us we can grab and go my daughter and I both love them and my little one will be introduced to these as well and if you want to know more about them look in the description box below for the videos on all the bad things I found out about the ones that they sell in the store this is where I am on social media be sure to check me out but also go check out my other channel the CPR vibe link is in the description box where we talk about all things reviving our lives there are many playlists and how to's on this channel that can help you save your coins you can also see my renovation journey if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you are alerted of all the new videos later gators